Hello everyone, my name is Clandon, and uh, before I get into the main premise of this video, I'm going to tell you all that tonight I'm doing a live stream at 3am, so set your alarms for 3am, so that, you know, uh, in my time it's 3am, I'm in Colorado, so I don't know what time zone you're in, but for my time zone it's 3am, so I don't know what time zone it will be for you, but uh, yeah, as some of you may know, not most of you probably know, uh, the new Bendy merch has came out. And the new Bendy Pop figures, the action figures, all that came out. So we have three new things to review in this one video. And oh my god, is my scalp blue? No, it's just like, it's the way the hair is. I put too much hair, hair gel in. That's what happens when you get too much hair gel in. That's what happens. So uh, yeah, today we have some new, of the Bendy, some new of the Bendy merch. What am I saying? We have some new Bendy merch. We have the Sammy Lawrence Pop figure, the Ink Bendy, the Ink Bendy Pop figure, and the Ink Bendy action figure. We'll be reviewing all these, but let's start with Sammy, because I want to do the two Inky Bendies together. Sammy Lawrence. Sammy Lawrence is my favorite character in Bendy. Oh, that's cool. Look what the look what they did with the uh, the the top. They made it all inky. They didn't do that with the other ones. They didn't do that with the pre-releases. I mean, I guess the pre-releases are kind of just like prototypes. I mean, they're kind of just pre-releases. They're not okay. Can I get your stand on, or am I gonna have trouble like all the other ones? Sir, can your stand go on, please? Or do I have to, like, go through trouble like I normally do with these stupid stands? Can you, like, just go on good, please? Okay. I think it's good. Uh, I'm going to move the people back here so that we can get a good view. Okay, that's as far back as it can go. Yeah, so here's the Sammy Lawrence pop figure. He looks very accurate to the game. Uh, something I really like. It's how they made his face. Uh, you can't really see his face, which is accurate, actually. Uh... His mask, of course, looks really cool. The wake wraps around the whole head. Um, he's holding the axe. I think it would have been cool if the axe had a little bit of ink on the end. Um, yeah, they got the fact that he doesn't have any feet correct. He kind of just has inky splotches for feet. Um, yeah, the ink is actually really smooth around him, and it's actually very detailed the way it drips down. Uh, his overalls, I feel like his overalls could have could have been a little bit more inky. I'm pretty sure if you're made out of ink, your overalls wouldn't have been that clean, but, I mean, I'm not going to complain too much about it. Uh, the way that they made his mask is actually, uh, pretty detailed. Just the way it is looks really detailed. Uh, something that's kind of weird on the box art is, uh, his mask looks very different on the box art than it does on the actual figure, especially his one eye with the faded out part. It's kind of weird. I feel like they just put the glam shots and don't change the glam shots from the original, uh, from the original glam shot, and they just, like, make the figure the way it is, but it's still cool, uh, his mouth, uh, I think it would have been cool if they, uh, some, something I think would have been really cool if they didn't just paint over this in black, but if they completely removed that part and just had it, like, going through the mask and then the black on the other side, I think that would have looked really cool, but I don't know, I, th I'm pretty sure, uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure that that's a part of his mouth that was cut open, and it's like that, but I can't guarantee it, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Either way, it would have been cool if they, like, kind of removed that and had it go through into the inky part of him. So, um, yeah, he looks really cool. His pose is in, he's, like, walking forward. He has this one weird, I don't know if that's a patch or a pocket. Uh, so, and yeah, he also has his axe here, and his other hand looks really detailed, just the way it is, looks very good. Everything about this pop figure, great. But also, Sammy Lawrence is my favorite character. And I still, don't blame me, because I still found things about him. Here is Ink Bendy. Let, uh, and then the second one, okay, Sammy, Sammy stuff. Uh, the next one is Ink Bendy. I'll go over quickly after the video is done anyway about this. Uh, so yeah, let's go on with Ink. I mean, actually, no, I feel like most of the time when they do a pop figure unboxing, it's really long. But I kind of want to get through this. Uh, most of the time with pop figure unboxing, though, I say what I want to say about them, and then show it with random things. Uh, the ink is very detailed. I love the way they did the ink kind of dripping down everywhere. I feel like, well, something that would have re been really cool is if the bases weren't just clear like most of them, but they had, like, an inky kind of, like, blob kind of, like, going out like that. I think that would have been cool as a base. Uh, I mean, I don't know. But next we have the... Okay, be right back. Sorry, my dinner's here, but I'm not hungry anyway, so... Whatever. Uh, so here... Oh, God, you can't even see. Here's the Ink Bendy pot figure. Uh, let's actually get him out of the box here. 
so yeah, uh, once again, inky, inky stuff, inky, always good with the ink. The ink is always a good thing to have on a box. Always want the ink. Uh, so he, he comes with the stand, but I, oh no, he can't stand on his own. His feet are like bent in a weird way. Uh, I don't know if all the bendy ones just come with a stand anyway, or if he's meant to, because his feet are kind of bending in a weird way there. I don't know if that's meant to be like that, but his feet are kind of bending in a in an odd way. They're kind of like bending up. But yeah, okay. So here's Ink Bendy. He looks very good. This person, all the ink, all the ink. The way the the way Funko does the ink is really cool. Uh, there's even a little bit of an eye kind of peeking out of the ink there. You can kind of see the eye kind of peeking out of the ink. Uh. He looks pretty similar to the normal Bendy. Uh, he has a lot of different details, though. Uh, something that this hand is smaller than this hand in the game, but this hand, as far as I know, doesn't even have a glove. Like, this hand is his hand without the glove. Like, it's a smaller hand. And this hand is bigger because it has the glove on. That's what I think. I'm not sure. Uh, so, yeah, like, a, like a, once again, the ink looks really good all around the ink. Uh... I feel like his bow tie, I don't know if his bow tie is inky in the game, but whenever I draw Bendy, I make his bow tie inky. So, I don't know if it's inky in the game, but whatever. Uh, his horns, the way they kind of go up, one goes up farther than the other is accurate goodness. Uh, everything on this figure just looks great. The way the gloves are inky, uh, everything, inky. Ink Bendy is inkiness. Uh, so, yeah. Like his hands are his hands are made of slightly bendable more slightly bendable plastic. That I wouldn't recommend bending them. Uh something I think would be cool is like if they had his hand like kinda reaching out, kinda like uh like that maybe. I don't want to bend his arm too much in case it breaks, but him like kinda reaching out more. Uh oh god, don't 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 let your foot fall out of the stand, Bendy. it's hard to get you back onto it. Uh, so yeah, just all around, this figure just looks amazing. I love this pop figure. I'm, I'm happy. I, I'm happy I have both of them. And these two kind of go together anyway. Like, you don't really understand unless you know the story of Bendy and Ink Machine. Now for the part I'm honestly most excited about, which is the Ink Bendy action figure. Um, I like this one because it's especially posable. Uh, I don't think I can open this one as a flap cam. No, I can't. Okay, uh, I forgot to mention which other ones I have. So, the other ones I have of the pop figures are Dead Boris and The Searcher. I might get those two. I don't know. I might try to find those two. I saw those two, actually, today, but I didn't have enough money. Uh, and then this one I actually found at Walmart. These two, those two, the pop figures I found at Hot Topic. But, uh, this one I found at Walmart. And it's the Ink Bendy action figure. Uh, the other figures they have are Boris, Normal Bendy, and Alice Angel. So, the only other one I want is Boris, and the, re I'll, the reason why is because, uh, the, the Bendy figure that, uh, the other Bendy figure looks almost identical to this figure, the, it looks almost identical to this figure, except it's what, it's ex except it's white, and it's in a different box, I don't know, I don't, I, I know that it's posable, it's, it's like limbs swivel a bit, but it's not really posable. And Alice Angel kind of just has bad paint. I mean, I might get Alice Angel, but even on the box, it, like, showed that the figure has bad paint. On the face, I feel like they could have made it more detailed, but maybe that's just because Ink Bendy is really detailed. Um, can I open this box like I do normally, or do I have to rip the box apart? I don't want to. I don't want to rip the box apart. Oh, oh, maybe. Oh, maybe, baby. Oh, maybe can I just, like... Oh, Maybe. I think it's going to be me to me. No, I did it. I did it in a good way. I did it in a good fashion. All right. There's also ink kind of going down on the side of the box. All right. Open. Oh, well, that's weird. Oh, they did it like that. They did it like that thing. Yeah, okay. Uh, okay. They also have ink. It's kind of just taped in. Uh, there's gear. Always glad to have a gear in every day. Uh, the wrench that Benny has, too. This feels like for some something in like where's where's I almost said where's Waldo? No, it's the freaking operation. Where did I get where's Waldo from? Bendy, you're being hard to get out of the box. Please get out. Bendy, Bendy, there we go. Okay, yeah, you're kind of like this is kind of like he's kind of like rising up out of a bed here. Okay, boom.
Okay, something I instantly notice is how loose his hands are. Like, his limbs are kind of really loose. Uh, can he stand? Okay, he can stand on his own, which is good. Uh, are his hands, like, fitted to hold the two different things that he has? Or can he only, like, hold one? I'm pretty sure this hand's for the wrench, and the other one's for the gear. Oh, no, yeah, because this one fits the wrench. And then, can the gear fit in this hand? No, the gear can't fit. Is he even meant to hold the gear, or, can't, or is he only meant to hold one? Okay, so yeah, this one fits the gear. And then, I don't know what to do with the wrench. Can I put the wrench in this bendy hand? No, I can't. It won't fit. Well, I don't know what to do with the wrench. <laughs> I mean, I'd want to, like, put it in this hand, but it doesn't fit. Should I make him hold the gear or the wrench? I don't know. I don't know what to make him holding. Maybe just hold nothing, and he's just standing. So, uh, yeah. I mean, what should I make him holding? I don't know. I don't even know what pose to put him in. I'm trying to, like, figure out a pose for him. I don't know. Can his hand, like, please fit the wrench? Not the wrench, the gear. I mean, I can do it like that. Oh, crap. No, well, I just dropped the gear. Well, I'll be right back while I go grab that. Okay, the gear fell back behind this area, and I can't find it, so I guess he's just stuck with the wrench, because I just lost the gear. I think, you know, did it, like, fall under the bed, or am I just, like, stuck without the gear? Nope, I think I'm, nope, I think I'm stuck without the gear. Ah. Okay, I, oh my god, really? Okay, yeah, I dropped the gear, and now I can't find it, so I guess he's just stuck with the wrench then. Maybe it was destiny for him to have the wrench. I don't know. So yeah, he dropped the wrench, so, not the wrench. I guess he, he dropped, blah, blah, blah. He has dropped the gear, so I guess he is stuck with that wrench. Uh, so, in case you're wondering, like, why the action figure and the pop figure look extremely different from each other, uh, Funko even put the eye there, but the thing is, this action figure is not made by Funko. The two, the Sammy Lawrence, the, the Sammy Lawrence pop figure and the Ink Bendy pop figure, they were both made by Funko, but this action figure is made by Fat Mojo. Yeah, uh, does this thing have the free game download? Yeah, free game download. Bendy.io slash free. So, I'll put that link in the description if you want the game for free, if you haven't already. So, uh, yeah. Okay, Bendy, your head does not, like, not want to move. I twist your head all the way around, and then you can move it, right? Okay, good. Uh, so, his feet look kind of, they're inky. Uh, I don't know how his feet actually are in the game. Uh, this is obviously based around the old Bendy model, not the new one that's in Chapter 4. Uh, so yeah, his hands swivel, uh, all his joints swivel. Uh, I wish he came with a stand or something so that you could do him in, like, his running pose. Like, like you know how when he's chasing after you and he's in kind of, like, that pose? That would, that would be a cool pose to put him in if I could, like, if I could, like, keep him like that. That'd be a great pose to do him in, like, him running after you. That'd be a great pose. I don't think he can, can I, like, move it like that? And can he balance? I don't think he can. I don't think his feet are like Funkos, where you can, like, yeah, they aren't like that. Uh, I could try to, like, keep him up with, like, something, like, a string, maybe, tied around his neck and hanging up. I don't know. I don't think a string would work anyway. He's kind of, like, flop around. So, yeah, I guess I'll just, like, put him on on his two feet. Two feet is boring, though. Uh, so, yeah, I, I have this hand with a wrench. I don't, I don't really know what pose to put him in yet. I think just kind of, like, look, like, kind of just, like, menacingly looking at you. He can't even stand now. His feet are weird. I, he should have came with a stand anyway, because his feet are weird. I think I just, like, accidentally popped the figure's feet in, like, a weird direction. And now he can't stand right. Seriously, his feet are so weird. Like, look at that. That's hard to stand anyway. Really? Bruh? Really? You gotta pull, go pull that on me. Really? Are you serious? He can't even balance now. 
Bendy, what is happening? Are you serious? Are you serious, dude? Are you serious? Bear! There's Bendy! There's a Bendy pose. I don't think I'm gonna keep him in that pose. That pose is not... That's not... I mean, they kind of are built to look like they're in a pose anyway. Uh, one weird thing that I just noticed is that, uh... On the back, it looks like his gloves were meant to have ink on them. But on the actual figure, they don't. So it's kind of weird, like... Bendy, Ink Bendy has ink on the gloves, so I don't know why they didn't really put it on it, uh, whatever. So, yeah, there's the Ink Bendy action figure. He lost his gear, so I guess I'm just stuck with the wrench now. Uh, I mean, that's fine anyway, and I don't know. I don't, I, I don't, I, do, I wasn't really gonna use the wrench anyway. The wrench would kind of just be there. I don't know what I'd do with it anyway, even if I did keep it. So I think I'm gonna, like, have the wrench kind of, like, pointing out in his hand, like, back, maybe for balance. Because that hand seems like it can, like, be used for balance. They're, like, one foot forward than the other. I kind of want to make it look like he's walking forward. Okay, if these, this knee's bent and this knee is back. Can I actually do that? Or is it not going to let me because his feet are weird? Is it not going to let me because his feet are stupid? It's not gonna let me because his feet are made dumb. Like, seriously, how can- His feet are already made, like, rounded. They're barely flat. The- The way to have the best standing figure is to have your feet completely flat. Like, over here, let's look at King Dice for a moment. His feet are completely flat and he can stand up just fine. No problem. But with this figure, you have to actually, like, really try hard to keep the figure balanced. Even when both feet are straight up, he still won't stand. That's why you make feet flat. You don't make them freaking, like, ink weird feet crap. That's stupid. Eh, whatever. This, this dude has made me mad. I still love the figure, but he lost his gear, and he won't stand, and it's just made stupidly, so... I love the figure, but, like, the feet are just made stupidly. The feet look good, but when he's... He can't stand with them, which is the issue. Uh, I'll be right back. I'm gonna see, I'm gonna try one more time. I'm gonna look back behind here. See if I can find Bendy's wrench. I probably... Not wrench. What am I... The gear! If I can't find... I probably won't be able to find the gear, but it's worth a shot. Alright, as I predicted, I can't find Bendy's, uh, gear. So I guess Bendy's just lost without his gear now. So, uh... Those are all, all the figures we reviewed. We did. Oh, God. Really, Sammy? Your stand? Really? Cement. Cement, why does your stand not work? If? Simmy. Shammy. Sammy, your stand is stupid. Why do they make the stand so good? You can stand better without the stand. You can stand without it. No, you can't. <laughs> That's kind of weird. His mask is so flat, it keeps it keeps his feet up. At least Funko makes stands for the figures. I'm like, you fat mojo. Your figures can't all stand on their own. You're going to have to use a stand eventually. I don't even buy stuff from Fat Mojo that much. This is the only time I've bought anything from Fat Mojo. Uh, I don't know. Is this figure? I thought this stuff came from Fat Mojo, wasn't it? No, that figure's funny. <laughs> I'm being serious. It's like from a company called Funny, P H U N N Y, Funny. <laughs> okay, we did the Samuel Lawrence pop figure. The okay, please stand, Ink Bendy. Yeah, I, 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 Ink Bendy pop figure, not pop figure. I mean, we did the Ink Bendy pop figure. We did the stupidly built, cannot stand at all, bendy action figure. Okay, there we go. I put his hand behind Sammy. And then the ink bendy pop figure. So if you want to see more of the- I can't put them all in one frame. If you guys want to see more of the bendy and the ink machine new merchandise, like the video. Sorry this video is actually so long. This video is a lot longer. Uh, later today, I actually, probably tomorrow, probably tomorrow, so tomorrow I'll have a video on a Cuphead plush, because I got the Cuphead plush you do. So yeah, anyway, I hope you all enjoyed. Hope you have a good day. Climbed in out. I'm just kind of annoyed, because 
sucked, especially on this figure, because he lost his gear, his feet are made stupidly, the figure looks amazing, but when it comes to the feet, he just, like, can't stand, and his gear's like, I mean, at least he can sit, he can kind of sit with the Funko, f like, he can sit better than the Funko figures, he's more doing the splits here, but like I said, these figures aren't meant to really, uh, are meant to sit, they're meant to, like, stand menacingly at you. Stand menacing. What am I saying? Okay, I can't think. I can't brain today. Climb that out.